Hey y'all, I'm Donna. Welcome to my garden. This is my container garden, but it is fall right now, and so my container garden is looking a little bit bare. I have been slowly moving down all of my herbs so they can be protected in my garage over the uh, fast approaching winter. It's going to be really cold here. I'm in zone 6B, so we are going to expect another cold winter as usual. So moving everything down to the garage, I ran across this little kiddie pool that I have used over the years for everything. So a few years ago, I had a viewer um, let me know that they really appreciated uh, the tip that I had given them about using a wading pool in the garden. And so I thought I would just go ahead and let you guys know um, seven ways that I've used it over the years and I'll give you some examples too, okay? So the first way I like to use it is to clean out my compost tumbler. Now if you have a compost tumbler or even if you just have a regular compost pile, you know that that doesn't always break down all the way. There's always some like sticks or something in there that has not broken down all the way. And since I have a square foot garden, I like for my compost to be nice and clean. So this is just perfect. If I empty out my compost tumbler, I can just sort through and pull out all the twigs and the sticks and everything else and so then I just like to put it in like a paper bag and then I can take it down to my garden and uh, side dress my plants with it and now another way I like to use it uh, is for rainwater collection and if you have a rain barrel you don't need to worry about this because I, I used to have a rain barrel in Florida and if you're really serious about collecting rainwater that's what you need to get <laughs> but this is great too because here I don't have one and so sometimes it's nice if it's raining I can just stick this little wading pool right underneath the downspout and then collect the water and put it in a storage vessel or in a watering can or something like that so that when it's not raining let's say about a week later I'll have some nice fresh rainwater that I can use uh, to water my plants with because you know rainwater is just so wonderful for plants. I just love to use uh, fresh collected rainwater. Okay now make sure though in the summertime if you do this and you have it underneath the downspout don't want to go ahead and make sure you've removed it because it could attract mosquitoes and you don't want that. So I just like to use a little siphon that I picked up at Harbor Freight. I think it's about five dollars five or six dollars and it's real easy to use it to just re um, remove that water. I think it'd be a lot easier than picking it up because uh, it's really hard to move it out from the downspout once it's got all that weight from the water in it. And now a couple of years ago I had a Greek oregano plant in my garden and I really needed to divide it because it was getting a little bit big plus I wanted some more plants to move into some other gardens. <laughs> so I just took my little wading pool and I moved it down there and I dug up that plant and divided it into four new plants and I put one in a container so this makes it really easy to just um, you know I popped it in the container and then I can put my potting soil around it. So I have clay soil and whenever I want to put in a new plant um, you know that clay soil I don't like to put it back around the hole that I've dug for my new plant because they need a lot of drainage you know you knew your plants need drainage I've never seen a plant that doesn't like uh, adequate drainage <laughs> not that clay soil is not good for plants but um, especially those new plants you want to get a good root system going it's nice to have the, at least the clay soil around it um, removed so if I dig my holes and you know if I'm digging my hole and I have a big clumps of clay soil it's easy just to dump it in here along with any rock or anything like that and then I can fill my holes back in with uh, topsoil or potting soil whatever it is that you use for your garden um, and then it's easy just to take this off and put it somewhere else okay and you may know that I have a square foot garden I have a couple of them actually <laughs> love the square foot gardening method and if you're not familiar with it um, it uses a soil mixture of vermiculite, compost, and peat moss, and it's called Mel's Mix. So I do like to replenish my soil uh, every few years and just give it so, you know, a little fresh soil. And so I mix it up in this little wading pool, and I like using this a lot better than a wheelbarrow, only because I can really get it mixed very well in here because it you know, has the little lip on the side of it versus um, if I were to do it on a tarp or in a wheelbarrow, it just seems to be so much harder to do it that way. So um, the, the wading pool is a great way to do that, okay? And you may have seen me recently uh, transplant some citrus trees up to larger containers. And so this was great because I uh, have my containers on this little deck here. And this deck doesn't have a water spigot or any way to clean up a mess after I have um, done any kind of potting work at all. <laughs> so it makes it a lot easier if I just have this and then I can just move them up into the larger containers. I mean one of the containers was so old that I had to break it apart and so this was perfect. I just was able to keep everything nice and clean. 
Now something I'm, I do that I'm not supposed to do is I grow like a t subtropicals or tropicals in my zone. Of course I'm a stubborn gardener. I don't know anybody that's not. We always want to grow something we're not supposed to grow. <laughs> so, um, but that means that I have to go and dig those up right before I really hard freeze and I want to um, you know, freeze those and put those away in my freezer. And I also want to maybe divide them so I'll have some more for the following season for new plants. So this works great. Just dig them up, put them in here, get my ch garden chore done, and I am good to go. Okay? So I hope that you're able to use one of these tips um, next season if you pick up one of these pools. You know, they're available just about anywhere. And um, if you have an idea of how you've used a wading pool, you know, you, a lot of people use them to wash their dogs in. I even saw a guy on YouTube who grows food in them. <laughs> so if you have any ideas, leave them in the comment section below. I'm sure all the other viewers would love to hear about it. And if you enjoyed the video, a big thumbs up would be greatly appreciated. And if you'll share it on your social media, I'd love that too. So thanks so much for watching and y'all have a beautiful day.